the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, says the region of the Americas has seen a 200-fold increase in suspected dengue cases in the first half of 2024, compared to the same period in 2023. In the past year, our communities have faced daunting challenges with dengue outbreaks. In several member states, 2,307 suspected and 927 laboratory confirmed cases were reported to CARFA from 15 of our member states. Dengue, a viral infection, is transmitted to humans through the bites of infected female mosquitoes, primarily the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Trinidad and Tobago's Health Minister Terence Dalsing in June confirmed that from January to May 2024, there were 123 cases of dengue in Trinidad, which originated in three districts of concern, Victoria, St. Patrick and Carony. January 2024, 17 laboratory confirmed cases, not hundreds, as the UNC is positing. February 2024, 13. March 2024, 19. April 2024, 31. May 43, a total over five months of 123. And on Monday, July 8th, the Tobago Regional Health Authority reported its first laboratory confirmed case of dengue on the island. CAFA notes the mosquitoes that spread dengue are active during the day and is advising people to take personal preventative measures to minimize mosquito bites. By destroying mosquito breeding sites, we prevent them from multiplying and potentially limit the spread of these terrible diseases. Vulnerable groups such as infants, young children, Older adults and women who are pregnant or trying to get pregnant must be extra cautious. Long-sleeved clothing and repellents containing DEET or lemon eucalyptus should be used to protect exposed skin. And patients with confirmed cases of dengue should rest under mosquito nets. While many dengue infections are asymptomatic or produce only mild illness, the virus can occasionally cause more severe cases and even death. The most common symptoms of dengue are high fever, headache, body aches, nausea, and rash. Prevention and control of dengue is highly dependent on vector control. Simple yet effective actions like maintaining clear drains to allow free flowing water and securely covering water containers and tanks can significantly reduce the breeding of mosquitoes. CARFA also notes that in 2024 already there have been cases of other mosquito-borne diseases, such as Zika, Chikungunya, and malaria. I'm Karen Kozia-Philip with your TTT News Health Check.